I've been getting a lot of questions about when is the way back going to be on Patreon, and I'm excited to announce it is finally here. Plus bonus content. Right now, for just $5, you get the Honeydew a day early, you get it ad-free, and you get a full bonus episode of the Honeydew with y'all where listeners highlight their lowlights, and it's going to stay that way. Five bucks. And for just $3 more, you're also going to get the way back a day early and ad-free, but that's not all. You'll get exclusive bonus content with the guests, some fun segments, maybe some games, and we'd love to get you guys involved, and that's all for only $3 more. And there's no censorship on any of the Patreon episodes. Subscribe now. Fort Lauderdale, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to make it. We're going to try to get some dates rescheduled as soon as possible. Tampa, Florida. I can't wait to come back to Side Splitters. I'll be there Saturday, December 7th, one night only. Tempe, Arizona. I'll see y'all December 20th and 21st at the Tempe Improv. Get your tickets on my website to all shows at ryansickler.com. Hey, baby! We're gonna be here all day! We're gonna be here all day, baby! I like this kind of party! Welcome back to the way back, everybody. Ryan Sickler here, ryansickler.com and Ryan Sickler on all your social media. Come see me on tour. All my fall dates are up on my website right now at ryansickler.com. Get your tickets there. Um, and thank you. Thank you for supporting this show, man. This is a, a newer show. You guys helped it premiere number one in the U.S., the U.K., wow. and yeah, and Canada. Uh, so thank you. Keep support. This is one you need to watch. All right. If you'd like to listen, this is one you want to watch. We're bringing life to these shows and going through everybody's Instagrams and childhoods and bringing those pictures up so you can see what these people were like oh God. before they became who they are. And I'm very excited to have this guest on here, ladies and gentlemen, in the way back with me. Welcome, Lunell. Thank you for doing this. Thanks for having me. Um, before we talk about anything, right there, promote it all, Lunell, please. Jimmy Kimmel's Comedy Club. I'm a resident, the only black female with a comedy residency in Las Vegas. Come see me every Sunday and Monday night at 9.30 p.m. You can go on Kimmel'sComedyClub.com for tickets. Watch me on season one, two, and three of Hacks on HBO Max. And season four is coming up. I really enjoy that. And you can go to heylunell.com, H-E-Y-L-U-E-N-E-L-L.com to get my tour dates because I might be coming to a city near you. That's all for now. I love it. That's all um, for now. I got to say, like, I, I do like to think that I'm a student of the game of comedy, and I like to think, I, I know I'm ignorant, though. Are there any other black female comedians that have a residency anywhere? When you were saying that, you said Vegas. But I'm thinking, does anybody have one anywhere? Well, because I don't know them all and don't mm-hmm. know what's going on, like, in Chicago. And so I I would say probably, but I don't know exactly who they are. There and, gotta be very few. Well, who cares? Because I'm in Vegas. You're the one. And, and, <laughs> and, and that's, that's the right, right there. That's right. So, um... Yeah, I'm the only black female comic in Vegas with a residency. It's incredible. Marsha Warfield is in Vegas, though. Marsha, yeah. Marsha is out there, and she's doing doing her thing. Legendary. Yeah, Night Court. Night Court. But um, it is not, you know. DC Cab, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. DC Cab. Ooh, See, you I know. I'm all 51. DC fucking Cab. Good lord. DC Cab is one of my favorite movies. If you've oh, never God. seen it. The line Gary Busey has is also one of my favorite lines when he's talking about getting a divorce. And he's like, I don't know what women are complaining about. They got half the money and all the pussy. Well, That's DC Cab. You I'll must never be a uh, Big Lebowski fan, too. Yeah. Yep. That was my, that was my poor uh, husband's ex-husband's favorite movie. I said, this dumbass movie? That's his favorite it's movie. It's a great one. That's stupid. He's crazy. <laughs> all right, well, let's get back in because I know we all. Well, by the way, you can't find ten other black girls who know about the Big Lebowski. Okay, go on. That's probably a damn good point. It is. Tr- it's true. It. I know. I know white because I went to white is, schools. Remember, with white people. Yeah. So let's talk about that. <laughs> okay. So you're from Arkansas originally. You're yeah. one of eight. Yes. 
And at two, the, the baby of eight. You're the baby of eight. Mm-hmm. And at two months old? I was transported to Oakland, California. Okay. Where I was raised. And, but then we moved from Oakland to Castro Valley, California, white suburb, because they wanted to get me away from the drugs of Oakland. But they brought me to the better drugs of the suburbs. <laughs> and then That's I the got truth. educated with more white people from elementary school to junior high school to high school to junior college to college. And are you the only black girl in your class? No, there's about three. Three. At that time, 77 is when I graduated. And it's- Don't do the fucking math on that either. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm lying. I graduated in 93. <laughs> class of 93. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm class of 91. Class of 93. Okay. That's why it sounds so familiar. It's like, yeah, right. Wait, but, um, so, okay, uh, yeah. so you're out in the suburbs. This is your whole elementary school, your whole upbringing's out yes. here in this white area. Yes. Then. And it's not very many black people no, out there at all. No, 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 no. We went, you know, through the whole, you know, I think I had petition to keep us out because my parents were hardworking, but they were affluent. My mother was a nurse at Highland Hospital in Oakland, and my father was the um, supervisor of custodians for Hayward Area Recreation and Park District. They made some money at that time. So when we moved to Castro Valley, we moved into a newly built house. They don't, nobody lived there but before us. Let's talk about that because mm-hmm. we don't have a lot of people. We had one in our life where we had a newly built house. Okay. I remember my dad taking us, and they're like, we're like, what's this? He's like, that's the foundation. Yeah, yeah. And the dirt and everything. Yep, yep, We're yep. We're play with Nor- that. 2249 Norbridge Avenue, Castro Valley, California. Wait, yeah. hold on. This was your childhood home right That's here. That's my childhood home from... 2824 Norbridge mm-hmm, Avenue. Mm-hmm. From- so how old are you when you get here? <laughs> I I moved into that house when I was probably fourth grade. Okay. Until I got out of high school. Does it look the same? It's the same house. And your bedroom's where? Above My, the garage? Okay, see, see the front door? The, the, yeah, above the, 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 the window right there. Yeah. No, that's the living room. The window right there. My grandma and her sister, my aunt, stayed in that house. Okay. The window up there to the left of that. That's my bedroom window. That's your bedroom window. And the left, and that's my parents' bathroom window. Could you ever sneak out of that house? Did you sneak Constantly. out? Constantly. How'd you do it? You come down here to the living room. And you sneak out through the sliding door. That and wait. then you come down, and then you go out the gate. Because so that, their was that patio well, we did, always there and stuff. We built a patio, but you that's did? a new patio. Can you put your mic up a little bit closer? Oh shit! I forgot it was on TV. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. Ah, TV. You're good. I don't went back down memory lane. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> that's what I want. I, I love it. Then my friend Janet Boykin lived in the house next door. Yeah, right I would sli- I'd sneak out that door right there. And where would you go? Are where you are looking you? at this, Walisa? I'm probably. What, what, <laughs> what could you be doing more important than looking where I'm I used to sneak out the fucking house? I'm, I could do two things at one time. No, you can't. You have to pay attention to what I'm saying. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, Jana Boykin lived over there. This is Jana Boykin's That's house. Jana Boykin's house. And where are you going and when you sneak out? she's black, too. So there's the two blackers right there. Oh, they kept you guys together. You know so they can watch is. you easy. Segregating <laughs> us. <laughs> it was, and it is. But I really want to go. I, I've pulled up there a couple of times. I used to walk that way to go to school. I knew the lady who lived there. And then there, I can't tell you about the boy who lived over there. It was terrible. But I, knew, I used to go over that house right there and kick it. So you had a lot of neighborhood kids your age in this neighborhood well, then? Well, sort you could of. Play when with you walked stuff. to school. Yeah. No, I wasn't playing with a bunch of them. But I had a, a, a couple, you know. Where are you going when you sneak out of the house at night? Back to Oakland. Well, oh, you, damn! I would take the bus. You're not just running around the neighborhood. What do you mean? You took the bus. On, ain't nothing going on in the neighborhood. How old out were you? this bitch? How old were you? That ain't old enough to sneak out and catch a bus <laughs> and be back before my father got up at five o'clock. No. In the fucking morning. You took a bus yes. and got back before he before left for work. Five o'clock in and the morning. And are you sneaking back in the same way? Yes. And a couple of times I almost got busted. You know, it was terrible. So, yeah, I, I did do that. Now, let me ask you this. You're you're adopted, you said yeah. here. Are there any other kids in this house? Or are you no, by yourself by at this myself. point? Okay. But you don't know what it's like to live with seven other siblings because you were just a baby. And Only taking- but, but I would go back and like I'm going in August. We We have a family reunion every two years. It used to be every five until the old people started dying off. We're like, <laughs> we better... 
Better speed this up. <laughs> and so it now up. we do every two years before everybody croaks the fuck out. <laughs> and we're going in August. But so oh. when I, I would go to, the one thing they did do was let me know I had siblings, let me know what happened. So then I would go in the summers and I would go in okay. and, and see them. So, so I know your what it's summers like. were, did you drive or fly? We would, back then we would drive. You would drive mm -hmm. to Arkansas. Uh-huh, from California. And what kind of car are you taking there? A Chrysler. Everything was Chrysler. Everything. Everything was Chrysler. Chrysler what? Do you remember? Is it a wagon? Did you no, sit in this no, seat? No, no, no. Uh, I don't know what it was. Regular Chrysler. My mom had a Barracuda. Whoa, for real? She's a Hemi lady? Yeah, but I wrecked, I wrecked that. It was the, the white one. Oh, man. My brother had my a mom white had one, that too. Car. She didn't deserve that car. This is crazy. So my <laughs> brother had this same car. If I car. had that bitch now, the money I could get. It's oh. classic. Oh, yeah. He had the yeah, same car. Yeah, but I car. got sides. I got hit on the. the what? That's supposed to be mine. You're not on the show with Lisa, but nice try. <laughs> anyway. They edit this out. No, no, leave it in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my brother had, to, on the back it said RT. And uh -huh, it stood for road and track. Ah, oh, Jesus. My brother got one of these from a guy. And Barracuda, baby. It put it right in our drive. We had a gravel driveway, okay? A little gravel driveway, and we were in this shitty little apartment. Me and my two brothers lived together oh my God. by ourselves in high school. That's the first car I ever wrecked. I wrecked a few more. Every day, they'd come home and try to start this thing. They couldn't start it. <laughs> Every day. They're on the hood. Every day. It became... So I would just get some beers, and I'd sit on the porch, and my entertainment became watching these assholes try to get this car started. That thing said for 500 bucks. And now it can be yours for $2 million. $2 milli. You better look at that car. So um, oh, wow, one day my great. buddy Jim Grindstead, we're sitting there. We're, we're 18. We're having beers on the now, porch, just you like you and me. Raised that? In Maryland. This okay. is in Maryland. And um, they fired up. Oh, they fired up the car? Oh, and it sounded. So we were like, oh, it's been months. Of yeah, them yeah, yeah. We getting, this is our after school. This is very the, giving me summer of 42 vibes. Oh, oh. We're like, oh, hell yeah. And then it, brrr, it died out. We're like, oh, let's go. Let's go. So everyone, everybody in the push, neighborhood gets it. We're trying push. to push it to pop start it. Motherfucker never started. <laughs> now you got to get the car. <laughs> it was back. one time. And then he got rid of it. Now I wonder. I wonder where that thing is. And I man, was, that's I mean, crazy I know what they what get for him now. Hour, so, What'd anyway. you do? I ran a stop sign. Somebody hit me on my passenger side. Then I had to drive home, and I tried to hide it from my parents, so I, drove, I parked it across the street. <laughs> -uh. So the side that was <laughs> fucked up wouldn't show. Not slick at all. What's across the street from the house of Castro Valley? A freeway. <laughs> Bitch, you can't park over here. So That's back when a car could take a beating like that, and you could that still drive it steel. home. Yeah, you could still drive you, it home. You hit in these cars, now you're sitting on the ground splinters. Um, I was okay. asking you stuff, too. Tell me about sneaking into theaters. You snuck out of the house. Were you sneaking into movie theaters? Absolutely. The East Mount 4. What was your 4. method? Tell me your method. Okay. The East Mount 4, Oakland, California, East Mount Mall. The movie... Lady Sings the Blues. Five of us Is that go. that the Billy Holiday movie? Yes. Yeah. Uh, five of us go. Two of us got money. The other three broke as fuck. You go and you buy your popcorn, and you can tell the person, because it's in a mall. Uh, I got to give my mom, you know, whatever, whatever. You come back, but you give your ticket to somebody. You I come see. back here with your popcorn. Now they got a ticket, and you know, there's ways. You know, I'm a scam artist. Don't forget it. And then you sneak in and watch your movies? Yes. And you stayed all day because now that you're in, it's the East Mount Four. There's four so theaters. Hopping. Yeah, you got to hop. You're in the movie theater from 10 o'clock in the morning to 11 o'clock at night. Boop, 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 boop. So you're buying one ticket and you're getting all of them and everybody's all day. rolling. All that's day. that's all smart, day. yeah. And the parents didn't even give a fuck what we were now that I think about it. Yeah, as long as you're in there. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. First boyfriend. It's all in this house is boyfriends and everything. Who's your first boyfriend? Like you liked, who you liked. I Not like the guy, this guy likes me. I like the guy nobody liked, <laughs> as per usual. I think his name was Stevie Higgins. And I think the song, what was the song? There was a song that was like our song, I think it was by Blue Magic. I don't, uh, don't none of y'all remember Blue Magic. What was this song? I can't remember, but there was a song. It's about David. Bring up Blue Magic, Kirsten. Yeah. Oh, see. Jesus. Where, what's, Just don't want to be lonely. lonely. Yeah. I think that was one of our songs. But that's not who I gave the head to, though. <laughs> okay. This is why I, I sucked this guy's dick. First of all, 
He was my friend's brother. He was super, super cute. This is back in big Afro days, Soul Train look. And he was from Ohio, but he lied and told me <laughs> that he was one of the Ohio players. Oh, okay. And I loved the Ohio players. Yeah. I was like, oh, my God, what? Not enough if you didn't know you really I didn't, was. I, did, I loved the music. I didn't know what the fuck they looked like. I, <laughs> I do now, but I wasn't paying attention to the album cover. Everybody had an afro. They all looked like Jackson 5. Oh, my God. See, I used to love the guy. The the, the guy on the right, he played the horn. Top right. Uh-huh, he played the horn. Mm -hmm. The other guy with the afro, almost to love the sugar foot, loved him. The guy on the left, left, played the drums. And I had a big old crush on him. And I remember the other guys, I, I was really just concerned with the top row. And um, Start. so the guy told me he was one of the Ohio players. I was like, you are? Oh, my God. How old are you? None of your business. <laughs> Suck I can't tell you that. <laughs> I think they call Best it. Best answer I've ever it, heard I think they call it. Now. Oh God. Oh God. We'll cut that part. Oh my God. You gonna cut it? You beat? <laughs> you scared? You scared? Be <laughs> tell you that. No, I'm sorry. Never. Don't no, ask. Please, no, we're Look, not don't ask. That out. No, no. Okay. Just okay. the <laughs> part. Just. The part. I made mean, this for this story fifty ain't years ago. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh. Your editor, you gonna have you gonna have a lot of work to do, girl. Oh man! Between these two shows, you gonna have a lot of work. To do. Oh god! All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's see if um, <laughs> all right. Well, if we're going there, is that your first sexual experience? Then, like, had um, you been messing around, with boys, a little bit before that, kissing, making out, that kind of thing? Well, I think the thing that was popular back in the day was finger banging. Mm -hmm. You let somebody put their hand in your panties and put a finger up in your pussy. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> <laughs> now, whatever happened to that? Whatever, whatever happened, happened, happened to let that? Let's bring that back. <laughs> well, it's happened back in the way, man. I'm inappropriate. Oh, what no. It say? didn't need to be G rated at all. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> no. I asked what were the restraints before I. <laughs> Constraints before I sat down. Um, what's your first car? What's your first car? A Not Plymouth the first one you Arrow, drove. Tangerine Orange Plymouth Arrow. I bet you don't find that motherfucker. Let's see. There That's it is. that bitch right there. <laughs> oh my god! Wait a minute. That's her. Wait. Okay, I'm gonna sit back down. No, go look, ahead. Go ahead. Look, that's me. That was what you had. Yes. That's Look my that. first car. When I I've was never 16. heard of the Plymouth Arrow, and yeah, I, well, I know cars. Don't forget, I, don't I was one. a privileged black girl with equestrian lessons and shit like that, <laughs> <laughs> and and swimming lessons and everything back in the day. Ballet, tap. Yes. So yeah. this was your first ride here. Who yes. bought this for you? Was this something you my earned? You saved father. money. You did. No, I earned no money. Was it new? New when you got it? New, new. Yeah. Whoa! You had a brand new car. More than one. Well, did you? Mm -hmm. Fucked them all up. What was your? How'd you crash this one up? Uh, that one I crashed when I was coming from work at where a bank in the <laughs> Bay Area, <laughs> and I was really sleepy. And I think we had had a, a Christmas party, but I wasn't really drinking. But we were. I was about to go over to San Mateo Bridge because we now lived in a different part of Hayward. I was going to San Mateo Bridge, and I fell asleep. And uh, hit a, a street light. And that's why I got a scar here. Is that right? I got a scar here. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah and, and I had scars on my knees because uh, I could have killed myself. Yeah, I fucked that one up. And then the next car, too. And I think the one after that. <clears throat> that's why I have drivers now. Well, you dropped uh, swim lessons and equestrian lessons. Tell me about these equestrian lessons. Well, I didn't have a horse, but my white yeah. friends did. Oh, so you go someplace and ride? Yeah, they had. Yes, mm -hmm. I would go ride for sure. And I what remember, made you want to start? My little nephew does that. Nobody in our family rides horses, deals. I'm from Arkansas, basically. Is that what it was? Yeah, they grow up riding horses bareback out there. Okay, they they can ride at, at, at a young age. So you're going down in the summers and seeing that, and then you come back and you want to be you want to do it. No, 
I was just in the valley, Castro Valley, with my white friends, and they were riding horses, and I wanted to go ride with them. But then it came in handy when I went back down south. Ah, I could ride. Okay. I could still ride. Did you like it? Uh, yes, I do like it, but I don't think the horse enjoyed it because I got a little weight. <laughs> You know, I have tried to step up in a stirrup before and the whole ass saddle go zoop up under the horse. I'm like, fuck. I crazy glued this bitch down. Were you uh, like just doing it to do it or did you race? Did you compete? No, did you do just any of that doing sort it of stuff? to do it. No. Okay. Mm-mm. And swim lessons. You took swim lessons? Absolutely. Swim lessons, ballet, piano. Really? Tap. Were these yeah. things you wanted to do or were you put in them? I put in them. You were put in them? Yes. What ones did you not like? None of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like any of it? No. <laughs> because I wanted to no. play what I wanted to play on the piano and they I were making see. me learn classical yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want to play so that. So it wasn't play- necessarily that you didn't like piano. It's like you didn't like what you were being I love taught. piano. I wish yeah. I still played, but I, <laughs> yeah. I have a mental block now from Bach and Beethoven. <laughs> What about, um, tell me about vacations. Um, what are you guys okay. doing for family vacations? Most of the time, we would just go down south and visit family. And Did we you always, ever fly anywhere? Did you ever take one? Yeah, you remember? I've been flying since I was young. Yes, yes. I don't remember. I think we flew to Texas, you know, where was black folks going in the 60s? We wasn't going to Dubai. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Going to fucking Texas. <laughs> you know? <laughs> everything was Texas, whether you're driving, driving, going back to Texas. Texas. Everything was Texas. <laughs> Texas and Arkansas. I didn't know there was any place else to go. <laughs> there were three states. I didn't know there was no place else to go. <laughs> but let me tell you, though, we were driving. We were driving. My, my father, my mother was co pilot. He's drinking the whole time. She would no, be? No. He would be. She would fix him a cocktail. He driving. <laughs> she drinking. The car smelled like Corbell. Smoking cigarettes. Gun under the fucking seat. <laughs> oh with a basket of food. Because Now, I'm always just thinking we have a basket of food just because it's convenient. But actually, back in the day, unless you had a green book, which would tell you where black folks could eat, you would bring your food because you couldn't eat everywhere. That happened in my lifetime. Whoa. Yeah, we had the okay, food. Okay, so these are we don't serve your kind. That's right. And, and, you, you and roll- your daughter can't pee here either. Whoa. At the gas station. You've had that experience yeah, before? Yeah, yeah. So you bring your own little, food though. and so you don't starve. Right. And so you don't, and so you can eat. Yeah. Every place was, a, if you have a green book, which I have one in my house right now, the green book Will is a book. Will you look this up, Chris? I've yeah. never heard of the green the book. The green book is a book that black people have that show you places that will serve black people. Okay. Hotels that will accommodate you. Let's see if you pull this bitch up. Let's see it. The Negro Motors Green Book. Holy shit. How am I 51? How is this never taught in school? Uh, Let's see. Why don't you ask? <sighs> never mind. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah. Ask the president of the United yeah, States of America. Yeah, or all my white teachers. <laughs> Not president. Ask the former wow. president. Wow. So this book is a, hey. I have a, that hey, book in my home right now. How As old is that in, book? From the 50s, 60s? Uh, definitely yeah. from the 50s. So this is a, hey, if you're traveling across the United States, these are places that are safe for yes, you to eat. That's right. You won't get killed because you want right. a meal. That's Jesus, right. I've and never. Stay. And, stay. and, and okay. places you can stay. Oh, hotels as well. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, they don't teach it. People are not re- will not receive it, and it's just like there's a bunch of white things that y'all do that I don't know what the fuck it is, and there's a bunch of black things that we do that y'all don't know what the fuck it is. My sister over there, Ileana, she Mexican. God knows they got a bunch of shit we don't know. What the fuck. <laughs> what fuck y'all? What the fuck you doing? What is elote? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all just mayonnaise and corn over uh, there. What? It's just the most delicious shit you ever had in your life. Nothing but carbs and fat. Yep. Love it. Love it. Love it. Wow, that's what well, I'm. I learned something new today for sure. I never. Did you, you didn't have any uh, black friends when you were oh, up? Tons. I have tons of black they didn't friends. Never tell tons you what I've okay, never. Well, I've done this show for. They don't keep it real. All and tell these shows you what the for real years. I've never heard of this. Well, when That's you want to learn some more black history, keep talking to me because I grew up with the Panthers too. We you did. All that. Yeah. Are you doing that? 
I, like, I wasn't you, a Panther. No, but were you influenced by it? Were you? Yeah, I was influenced. Were by you wanting sure. to be? Uh, I think I am one. You are mm -hmm. like an honorary. Or you just accidentally got. No, nominated? I just said it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck a Black Panther, bitch. What because about the Panthers were doing good things in Oakland. Mm -hmm. This is pre before they tried to lump the Panthers with the SLA. Do you remember the SLA? Remember when Patty Hearst got kidnapped? Yeah. Remember when they burnt them out to the ground in mm -hmm. LA? Right. But that wasn't the the Panthers though. And the Panthers, when I was growing up in Oakland, they were getting the breakfast program. That's Huey P. Newton, right? Yes, they would have the breakfast program to Helping feed the kids that, mm -hmm. they, that didn't have a meal in the morning. They were walking women to and from classes on campuses so they wouldn't get raped and fucked up. They were doing good stuff. Is that a, a prominent thing when you're in high school? Like, are they... This wasn't a school thing. This no, but was I mean, a, when you're in high school, is that like the age where you're starting to learn about this sort of thing and uh, the Panthers and stuff? Uh, more like elementary school. Oh, okay. Because that's when the breakfast program was going on. I wasn't, you know, my people had money, but I, I wasn't privy to it, but I knew it was, was happening. And then they would give away bags of food and stuff. like. I mean, I could see it. It was right there. What kind of student were you in school? Uh, a pretty average student, you know. I made pretty good grades because I was under a lot of pressure to do that. And like I said, I got a degree, so you know, I I I was an av average student though. You know, I, I get a couple of C's every now and then just when I'm fucking off. Most A's and B's though. You play sports at all in school? Uh, I sucked at everything. <laughs> sucked at kickball, volleyball, tetherball, baseball. I accidentally signed up for cross country running, which I was trying to what do you be on mean the track. Accidentally. I signed up for a cross country accidentally. I meant to be a sprinter, not a long distance oh, runner. Oh, I see, I see. But we start off practicing. Next thing I know, we're fucking downtown. Why, 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 where, when we going back? Well, you're on cross country. You don't go back. We're running all over the city. Fuck. <laughs> That's, That's in the Castro Valley High that. School yearbook. It's Castro Valley High School yearbook. Look Thank that you. up, uh, Kirsten Castro Valley High School. 1970. There you are. Oh, my God. That's my yearbook. I got artwork in that yearbook. Do you use something you drew in that yearbook? Mm -hmm. Oh, God. My head's going to explode. Please don't pull up my high school photos. Kirsten, I'll fuck you up. Jesus Christ. If you pull right, up my Right there on page 69. That's oh, my favorite that. number, by the way. <laughs> No, you know, you get old enough, you don't do 69 no more. You be fighting in people's face. <laughs> I'm, done. I'm done with that. That's a That's young, a young people game. game. If you don't get your ass out from in front of my face, don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this is Not G-rated, just about uh, growing uh, up. Polly, Polly purebred over there. <laughs> Lunell, thank you for doing this. I love these because they remind me when there were no seatbelts. Yeah. Kids were flying all over the back of that car. C huh? Cigarettes in them and everything. I know, with the mm -hmm. windows rolled it's up. It's amazing we made it out. I know. Windows rolled up, raining, cigarette smoke, <laughs> no seatbelt, drinking and driving. Drinking and driving. <laughs> I mean, that's what we were just at the mercy of whatever was going on out I there. I know, right? How mm. did we make it out? Praise God. Thank you for coming and doing this. Thank you for um, having me on the One more seat. time. Promote. Please. Okay. Hacks. Season one, two, and three on HBO Max. HBO Max. Uh, you can check me out on Hacks. It's a wonderful show. Uh, Jimmy Kimmel's Comedy Club in Las Vegas every Sunday and Monday at 9.30 p.m. Kimmel'sComedyClub.com for tickets. And HeyLunell.com, my website, to see my tour dates. I may be coming to a city near you. I love it. Go see Lunell live if you can, for sure. Uh, come see me as well. Tickets are up on my website at ryansickler.com. Come Sickler. see me. Uh, ryansickler.com. And uh, follow me on social media, Ryan Sickler, on all your social media. We'll talk to you all next week. Peace. Peace.